And we get the Dragon Town, which, uh, is supposed to be, um, the most actual powerful, uh, piece of headgear, headgear equipment, but, uh, Yeah. Sorry, I was uh, kind of going to sneeze there, but um, anyways, um, yeah, now, it really helps us out, uh, especially with our attack, our strength, and uh, a little bit with our defense. Um, it says lowers defense of the enemy, but I think uh, that's just because uh, we're a little bit stronger, so... But two, three more things that are gonna pick up here. Um, then, as I said, um, I'll just uh, come by off screen and uh, basically get all the uh, other stuff that I, <coughs> other uh, map parts that I need to clear out here. So. low enough for it because it's uh, really easy to actually go over these things luminous usually um I take this part of the castle first and the luminous here um is usually the uh, strongest actual uh, sword that I have but uh, yeah, um, right now, um, just stick with the gram, so. Uh. As I said, um, nothing really to, to fill out here except for, uh, the map, which I'll do off screen, um, we get, like, a couple of um, under secondary uh, special weapons that uh, we can get here um not secondary like um like the same dashes or anything but uh just one time use items so but. okay okay over here um usually um we have I think it's the, the Bible or whatever right there, but uh, it's not here in this castle, so. And, uh, save now. You know. Alucard would have a really tough time to getting through the castle um, if he didn't have like the bat form or uh, or the mist form. So. There's uh, nothing over here that we can uh, hit. No switch or anything. So. Another stone skull. Another unbeatable item or enemy, so. I know I could uh, probably switch it to the bat form, but. And over here we have our uh, next teleporter, but. Right now, uh, we really don't have anywhere that we have to teleport to, so just going to be uh, sticking and going around with uh, the prawn area, so. Up above, um, where you can, uh, probably hear that, uh, bone clanging sound, um, we've got, uh, some jackal bones, um, that will, uh, 
pretty much uh, throw bones around. Um, I have to just avoid those things for right now. Um, you can take them on if you really want to or whatever, but it's uh, it's best just to avoid them. I think. As you can uh, probably hear, um, they're really easy for the sword to take out all on its own, so. Just wondering there. I'll be stopping off at the uh, second library here, so. Um, yeah, um, should, uh, probably equip this thing because I'm probably gonna need, uh, the, the, uh, Ankh of, or Mystic Pendant, uh, a little more in this area. Uh, uh, as you can see, it doesn't, uh, fill it up that fast or anything, but at least, uh, it's a faster rate than before, so. But, uh. What I'm going to do is, uh, I am, uh, just going to fill up, uh, the rest in here, so I will, uh, be right back. And, uh, back, and, uh, luckily I, I refilled all of my magic points, um, I am really going to have to turn into the mist form quite often, uh, the second library here, um, again, um, if you're not going for completion's sake, um, you can just avoid this area if you want to, but, you know, I figured I might as well take it on, so, um, there are a couple of nasty enemies in the, uh, in the next area, um, I believe that they're called the Shmoo. Um, they're flying ghosts with, uh, like, uh, the generic white sheet over them. Um, they're pretty fast, and they, uh, basically come at you from both sides. Um, th they're not hard to beat or anything like that, but, uh, it just sucks taking them on, so. The worst guy, though, is, uh, the Tin Man, which, um... To me, anyway, um, kind of reminds me of, uh, the actual Tin Man from, uh, Return to Oz. Uh, not the Wizard of Oz, but the sequel, uh, from Disney back in, like, uh, the mid-80s or whatever. Um, that one's really bad because it has, uh, two axes that, uh, it swings around its entire body, which, uh, are pretty long, it can hit you, uh, from either the front, the back, or even the side, or the front, the back, um, the top, or the bottom, um, plus, um, the sword doesn't, uh, do much damage to it, um, I think whenever it hits it, um, it only does, like, one damage, so, um, and if we do enough damage to it, um, I'll just sit in place and uh, open up its top and rapidly fire missiles at you. Um, the only way that you can uh, actually beat it then is to uh, turn it into uh, the best form, go behind it, and uh, start swinging your sword like quite like crazy. But yeah, this place um, you don't have to take it on, as I said, but uh. It, it's a, it's a, it's got some, uh, pretty good things, like, uh, one of the swords in particular, so. Oh, audio cues. Uh, there's a shoe. For us, um, 
they usually drop um, gold or whatever, but yeah, as I said, um, not the uh, easiest things to take on, but definitely not the hardest, so. That was uh, up enough, but. <clears throat> Those uh, bouncing pogo things or whatever, they'll just stay in public, so. Don't even have to worry about those things. Oh. Scarecrows, okay. Yes. They're not extremely difficult or anything, um... So... I would, uh, just wait around for, uh... For the sword to finish them off, so... If they did last quite a while, um, then, uh, you might want to consider, uh, just leaving them like, uh, the white dragons, but... <laughs> As you see, uh, when those things come around, uh, I would just avoid these things, so... I should have done that from the first place, but... Oh well. At least there's a healing point here, so... Would have been really funny if uh, we would have uh, run into a... the librarian and he was uh, just upside down or something, but... And in the first castle, uh, you can fly up that way and uh, get behind him in a way, but yeah, I, I think if you do it like a, in a certain way, um, it kind of glitches, but don't really uh, have to worry about that too much, so especially not right now. Got a couple more of those uh, Tin Man we gotta fight here. Um, when we uh, start heading over to the, uh, I guess you could say, right, right side of uh, the library here, um, we don't have uh, another boss up there, which uh, is kind of disappointing, uh, like we did in the, the first actual castle, but um, we do get. Um, do get a little reward for it, so. Over there has a whole bunch of, um. As I said, um. This actual part of the castle, um. It doesn't have, um, a whole bunch of, uh. Really great things for us or anything, but. that uh, it might be worth it um, to actually uh, plant um, some of the uh, saint ashes uh, right below us and uh, see if that works on the uh, tin man but okay. I think there's a tin man I thought there was. I know that there are tin men in here though. 